welcome to life on the island. You have to take a ferry to get off. Um, this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can turn around and give you guys a shot. All right, so just got to James's house in Vancouver. Just got here, lovely house. There's a lady on the couch, she's camera shy. Uh, pretty funny story, so James is flying back in from Toronto right now uh, for work and didn't even bother to tell Lydia that I was coming here tonight, so it was a big surprise for Lydia. So I can't wait for him to get home in a few minutes. I might record it, because there'll be some fireworks. All right, it is now Friday morning, I'm at James's house. There's James right there. And Zoe, where's Zoe? My goddaughter's somewhere here. I can't see her. Where is she, James? Oh, there she is right there. A little bit shy to the camera, kind of like her mom. Anyways, we're uh, gonna just uh, spend a little bit of time together this morning and then start our way down to Portland. We're walking to Zoe's grandparents' house. Is that where we're going, Zoe? Is that where we're going? What do you? <laughs> Video shy. So just a quick pit stop on our way down. We found a barbecue place right here, Texas style. Why not try it on the drive down? We'll see. It smells awesome. We'll let you know. <laughs> a video of our first uh, <laughs> first experience with the spicy sausage. They said it was spicy. It's spicy. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, that'll bite us back. Later. Well, now it's uh, in the afternoon on Friday. We finally made it to Portland. Traffic was horrible. It took us hours to get here through Seattle. As you can see in the background, we're at the track. The lights are circulating in practice, so we're going to go in, set up, and uh, get things ready for tomorrow. Well, good morning. It's now Saturday morning. We are at the track. Everything's getting set up in the background. It should be an interesting day. We've got qualifying first thing this morning to uh, to set the grids for, for the weekend for some key races. Uh, should be fun. It's an interesting weekend because we don't have Dan and Dale here. They're typically, uh, of course, running the show, but they're off to Bonneville to set some more land speed records. They set two last year, and they're back for more. So, uh, unfortunately, the schedule is conflicted. Uh, so, Dan actually let us... Uh, run the the team and the equipment uh without him as long as we had some uh some some decent crew in here so we kind of feel like teenagers that have the keys to mom and dad's house if that makes sense lots of fun uh everything else is going well oh and you may remember this from yesterday yeah that was a bad idea
Well, everyone, it's now actually Sunday morning. I didn't do a post after qualifying yesterday. Uh, we actually managed to do really well. We put the bike on pole for our uh, races for the weekend. But on the last lap of, uh, of qualifying, I just had a funny sensation come through the bike, a little bit of a funny noise, and uh, I fear that maybe I've, uh, something's gone on with the engine. So we're not going to risk um, doing any more damage to the, to the machine. Uh, and so uh, we've decided to unfortunately uh, withdraw from the races this weekend and park the bike. So uh, a bit bittersweet. We had really good pace. We put the bike on pole. But these things happen. So uh, we'll just spend the rest of the day uh, helping uh, Kevin and the crew out and enjoying everyone's company. And we'll uh, pack up and get the bike uh, back to uh, Zlock Racing Headquarters up in uh, near Tacoma and uh, see what's going to happen for the next round, which happens in about three weeks. So we'll see how things uh, go, if there's enough time to get the bike uh, sorted for the last round of the year. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the footage, and uh, stay tuned.